Hey everyone, Tony D and Little Joan here with a screenwriter's rant on Yakuza Princess. Yeah, yeah, it sounds good. Love that title, Yakuza Princess. About a woman trapped in the world of Japanese organized crime. And she is into sword fighting. And the story centers around some kind of katana that's very valuable. And this dude who apparently, I don't, I'm not sure how he's involved. I'm not sure his relationship. He's not Japanese. So, uh, I'm not sure what he did. He might have chopped somebody's head off with the katana or something. And then the legend says there is a demon inside this katana. Yeah, so it's got a little bit of, little bit of, uh, Japanese mysticism in it. And, uh, so she basically is running around with this katana and has to join forces with this dude who's all banged up from a previous fight and horribly scarred. So, um, not sure what the plot is, but I do like the way the trailer is sort of structured because it starts out sort of just giving you hints about the movie, a forgotten past, a katana, crime, uh, these guys are after us, that kind of thing. And then it just goes into like action, 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 action. The action looks cool. The action looks cool. It has a demon looking within. <laughs> yeah, Joan. Yeah. It's waiting for its next victim. And it has old school. These are Yakuza guys because um, the Yakuza guys, you could tell by their tattoos. That uh, was the thing. Now, that's pretty old school. I don't know if they still do that because, obviously, in the modern age, that's a dead giveaway, but... Uh, maybe. Japanese are very traditional. Even uh, even the criminal organizations. Uh, the Japanese Yakuza is a fascinating topic. I did... Um, my second mafia book was called Complete Mafia West Coast. And it focused on things like the Yakuza. And they have a history that goes back hundreds of years. All the way to the Edo period in Japan. And... Um, the various aspects of the Yakuza are descended from um, uh, various, here it is, Yakuza princess, various organizations that existed during that time. Um, so it's a, it's a really good read if you want to read about the history of the Yakuza. It's, it's very interesting. And they're still around today. They are the white-collar criminals of organized crime. They are very um, organized. They are the most organized of the organized criminals. They really are. They uh, they own vast real estate. And, um, they dress in suits, and um, they still, for the most part, have a code. You know, a lot of the organized criminals have sort of broken their code. These guys, you know, I think because of the culture, tend to tend to be more traditional. Uh, but they're still incredibly dangerous. You you don't want to mess with any of these guys. No way. No way. I cannot read any of these credits. Wow. Um, a film by Vincent Amorim. Written by Fernando Toste, Kimi, and Kimi Hao Lee. Uh, let's see if the director's on here. Wow. This is like impossible to read the credits. I can just read the names, but I can't read most of the... I guess Vincente Amorim is the director. He doesn't sound Japanese, he sounds Italian. Jonathan Rise Myers, Masumi are the main actors, and uh, Tasumshi Hara, Hara and R H K Kijiro Ozaki. So I would imagine those guys are uh, martial art movie staples, uh, as often is the case with a movie like this. Um, these are great international movies because they have a lot of action. And uh, if you've seen some of my screenwriter tips, you already know that the three main movies that sell well overseas are TNA, horror, and action because they translate in almost all languages. Right? So everybody can be scared. There's always crime, uh, the, you know, in action. Uh, I guess crime would be a fourth one, maybe. And TNA, you know, hot hot girls. 
Um, and in, and this one has a, a hot leading actress who there's a sexy scene where she sits down in a tub. So this has something for the international market, you know, and they're not so prudish over there. So sometimes, as we all know, they do different cuts of the movie. And uh, in certain cultures, certain things can be a little more racy, a little less racy, depending on the culture. Uh, so it's kind of fascinating. Yakuza Princess looks interesting. I would see this movie. I, I'm a little skeptical. I mean, that looks cool. Uh, that's some cool scar work there. Uh, I would I would want to see a little more before I paid for the movie. Otherwise, I'd wait to like direct uh, streaming, direct to video kind of thing. Uh, but it sounds good. Sounds like right up my alley. Yakuza Princess. Uh, we don't have a date for this movie, so look for it sometime this year.